Hello everyone, this is International Master Robert Jamison from Kids Unlimited in Melbourne, Australia. And today I have a, a very cute little puzzle to show you. It's one of my favourites. Now, what makes a good puzzle? Clearly there has to be some uh, wow factor, a surprise move. Maybe you sacrifice your queen or get a smothered mate or um, under promote. Something interesting that's hard to see and makes the puzzle entertaining. Now, this puzzle is a good puzzle because it has that feature, but what makes a good puzzle into a great puzzle is if there's a good story to go with it. And there's a very nice little story to go with this puzzle. So this is from a game played by the Czech Grandmaster Jan Schmeckel, who was one of the top players in the world in the early 1970s. Uh, he reached this position with black to no with white to play. Now clearly black's going very well because he's got two extra pass pawns. He has to be a little bit careful because if white was able to sacrifice his knight for the a pawn, then we'd end up in a well-known draw posi drawn position where there's a rook pawn and the king can hide in the corner. And because the bishop is not on the same color square as the corner, you can never get the king out. You can only get a stalemate. We have to be a little bit careful, but still it should be easy win. All right, now let's see how you go. So it's white to play, pause the video and work out what move you would play if you were white. Okay, hope you've decided. Now, Schmeckel played knight e4 check, and the engine says this is the best move, but it's not quite good enough because after knight takes bishop, we go a2, knight has to come back to stop the pawn. Now, king's going across to annoy the knight. Now, we have to be careful, we can't go here because knight c1 would fork the king and the pawn, but we can go this way. King here, king, oh, sorry, uh, king here, knight in the corner. King down, king up. King down, takes, takes, takes. King here, and white resigned. And that's what happened. And the engine says that's the best line of play. All right. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, we're usually playing humans. And sometimes it's not a good idea to play the best move against a human because his reply is obvious and he's still going to crush us and we don't have it. Uh, we haven't given him a chance to go wrong. Sometimes it's better to play a second best move where the reply is perhaps not so obvious and we give our opponent a chance to make a mistake. And that's certainly the case here. So what happens? So they're having their post-mortem, the two grandmasters, and they got to this position. And walking by was former world champion, Mikhail Tal, the magician from Riga. And he had a quick look at the position and he saw what happened. And he said, just go back a sec. So he said to Schmeckel, what would you have played had I played knight b3 as white. Have a quick think, pause the video if need be. Schmeckel immediately replied, well, of course I would play a2. And Tal then said, well, alas, you would only draw. Can you see what Tal had in mind? Because he had the clever move. Where it is, knight c1. Now, attacking the pawn. So if we lose that pawn, we're not going to win. And if we make it into a queen, guess what? It's stalemate. If we make it into a rook, guess what? It's stalemate. We can make it into a bishop, but then we've got two black bishops, which isn't going to get the white king out of the corner. Easy draw. So Schmecker was a bit shocked, but he said, hang on, hang on. I still win. I will make it into a knight. And Tal uh, had a little grin on his face and said, well, 
You can make it into a knight if you like, but you don't win. Can you see what Tal had in mind? Tal said, I'm playing knight b3. Now, if you take the knight, it's stalemate. You move the bishop. I can just take your knight and it's still going to be a draw. The best you can do is knight c2, I take the bishop, and it's an easy draw. You've only got one pawn as a rook pawn. So that would have been a fantastic swindle if White had have seen the lion tail play. It's not the best move for White, but it gives him the best chance of saving half a point. So I hope you enjoyed that little story and the puzzle, and I'll see you next time.